Let's take a look at sketching a graph of the floor of X over X. So what's going on with this? Okay, first I'm going to go from 0 to 1, and I'm excluding the endpoints here. So now let's think about this. If you take any number from here, then this is the floor right here. And the 0 is the floor. Notice also because we have here division by 0, that means the 0 itself here is not part of the domain. So we will have this. The floor of x over this interval from 0 to 1 over x is just 0 over x. Remember here in the bottom, x is not 0. So that's going to give us just 0. This is our y. Okay? So if we were to graph this function over the interval from 0 to 1, it would look like this. This is 0. This is 1. It looks like this, like this, like this. And so excluded, excluded. And then this is 0 is equal to y. So that's the graph of that. Okay, let's move on here. So again, we're doing the floor of x over x. And now let's do it over the closed interval on this side from 1 to 2. So back here, I kind of opened it. So here, I'm going to close it with a bracket. So you have this. 1 to 2. So what happens? Okay, I take any number from here. The floor is where? It's here. Right? Like 1.1, 1.2, 1.99, the floor is the 1. So the floor of x over x just becomes what? It becomes 1 over x. So this is your output y. So to graph that piece, well, remember here 1 is part of the domain. So when x is the value 1, we have 1 over 1, which is 1, and it's the value of y. Now 2 is not part of the domain, but we can still plug it in. Just to see more or less what it would be. So when x has the value 2, you would have 1 over 2. That would be your y output. So over the domain that goes from 1 to 2, the function would look like this, right? At x equals 1, the output is 1. So you have a, and it's solid. At x equals 2, the output is 1 half. So it's more or less here. It's a whole because the 2 itself is not part of the domain. And then the rest of the behavior is that of 1 over x over that part. So that would look like this. It slopes down. All right. Let's do one more piece here. So I'm going to go, again, floor x over x. And we want to do this over, this time, 2 bracket and then 2, 3 parentheses. Again, any number that you take from here, 2.1, 2.2, 2.99, this part is the what? That's the uh, floor. So that means you're going to end up with the floor of x over x just becoming 2 over x. So since 2 is part of the domain, right, because of the bracket I've chosen arbitrarily, I'm going to have when x is 2. I'm going to have 2 over 2, which is 1. That's your output of y. When x is 3, now 3 here is not part of the domain, but you can still plug it in as a holder, that's all. So you're going to have 2 thirds equaling y. The rest of the shape is determined by the shape of 2 over x. So over the interval here, that goes like this. Uh, bracket, 2, parentheses, 3. Uh, when x is 2, y is 1. So you're going to have here this. When x is 3, y is 2 thirds. So 2 thirds, let's say, is here, but it's a whole, remember, because the 3 itself here, right, is not part of the domain. And the rest of the shape is determined by 2 over x, so it looks like this, kind of. What you should do on your own now is take all these pieces and produce the final graph in a single panel for practice. I'll leave it at that, though, so if this has been helpful, please hit that like button, make it always be money, and subscribe.